internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Three, two, one. Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. Do you have your speakers turned on? Can we hear you? Check one, two. I do these graphic things because that's what Alex Mandosian taught me how to do. And then we could also ask you to like, comment, and share, all that kind of stuff. So I've got a new friend on the line, and her name is Debbie Harris. Are you there, Debbie? Yes, I am. Good morning, Brad. And we've got audio and everything. Loud yeah. and clear. Yay! Okay, wonderful. So... Um, I'm up in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where it's kind of cold, and you're in Las Vegas, where it's kind of warm. Uh, warmer, yes. yeah. Yeah, so kind of warmer than where you are. Bridge the gap. It's actually kind of nice. The snow is melting up here, which yeah, is weird. I, I'm kind of a weather freak, so I have about 30 cities that I check weather on regularly, and yours <laughs> is always the coldest. <laughs> It is. It gets a little chilly up here, but it's not as bad as people think it is. I remember once we did a Meeting Professionals International Conference here in June, and people from all over the country brought jackets. And it gets to be like 90 and 100 here in the June. Why did uh, they? Okay. Well, that's they thought it was, for me. Yeah, they, they thought it was cold. It's not that cold. So you're in Las Vegas. How long you lived in Las Vegas? Oh, I've been in Las Vegas just over 10 years. Actually, oh, wow. September was 10 years, Brad. Good fun. Yep. And from, from where? Uh, immediately from Connecticut, but I'm originally from New York. I'm originally from Brooklyn. <laughs> I lived out in L.A. for a little while, lived in Manhattan, wow. and then Connecticut, and then here. Yeah, Connecticut, I, I spend a little time over there on the East Coast. That's a very nice area. It's gorgeous, yeah. <laughs> Not quite as cold as where you are in the winter. No, but um, you stay inside for that. That's why I'm an internet marketer. I do the stuff that's online, right. so I don't have to go outside. Ah, that's right. Do it from remote. It's kind of like being in Las Vegas right now. It's warm. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> warmer today. We, we've been in the uh, nights and mornings in the high 20s, low 30s. This morning, it's actually raining, and it's about 40 degrees. I like it. I like rain. Yeah, it's awesome. Keeps you I was going to move to Las Vegas a while ago because my magic <laughs> background, I was going to get into trade show magic and go out okay. there for all their conventions and stuff and i opted not to i got married and moved to the west side and then we moved to Asheville. and now we're back in minneapolis so i've had a good almost 55 years solid here in minneapolis so deep roots so you know the place exactly i like you're, it here you're a, i don't know do we mention this you're not you're not a vikings fan are you i'm a go vikes and take the twins with you how's that okay <laughs> 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 okay, gotcha. Nah, I'm not All much right. of a sports fan. I think it's a big expense, but hey, to each his own, right? <clears throat> it's well, all you good. Have to do is turn on the TV. Exactly. I'm not very competitive. I'm more of a collaborator, hence the synergy collaborative. Okay. So, <laughs> anyways, I'm a huge collaborator and a huge sports fan. But growing up in New York, you. It's hard to avoid being a sports fan. Well, I get I get the concept of competition on the sports field where there's a goal and there's a timer and you know when you're done. But in the business mentality, McDonald's and Burger King are both still here. Right. So there's no competition. And look at Starbucks. They put one on each corner and they all survive. Well, how about just the fun of watching your team win? Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. I, I watch uh, UFC fights a lot, but I just watch the strategy behind the the, yeah. comp the 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 fight, not so much. I don't care who wins. I just want to watch them beat up. Yeah, each other. I'm not so much of uh, <laughs> UFC. I used to watch boxing a lot when I was younger, but again, not it's so much anymore. Blood and guts. It's terrible. So let's get into what you've got to offer because it's probably more positive than beating each other up. What do you do to occupy yourself? We... Uh, I own a social media, web design, and marketing consulting company. Good timing. <laughs> Good timing is right. Started it, though, about seven or eight years ago uh, when social media was just really starting to become very important for business, but people were still kind of like, I don't know about this, Deb. This thing's not going to last. I don't, I don't need to <laughs> worry about it right now. And now <clears throat> you need to worry about it so if you're not doing it. 
I'm going to give you an unsolicited plug. I don't even know that much about your business and stuff, but I think that any kind of brick and mortar business, if they're going to run the business, they should outsource the social media to somebody that knows what the hell they're doing because they need to run the business at hand. And this whole marketing thing in, on social media is a lot different than your traditional place an ad in the newspaper or do a thing on the TV or the radio. The social media yeah. thing is much more complicated. You're absolutely right. Now, for some companies, uh, you're absolutely right. For some companies, they are able to hire staff that can be trained to do it. So some of the other stuff we do is actually training of staff for mm -hmm. people. So maybe you have someone in your company and that person is specifically designed to handle the marketing. And we go in and train them as to really how to make the social media effective for the business. Not just how to push all the buttons, but how to really make it effective and a strategy for the business. Okay, do you get into like etiquette? Best practices, absolutely. Because a lot That's of people, they do this social media thing and they have no clue. It's kind of like, like the analogy another person, another guy or woman used with me is, you walk into a nightclub, you see an attractive woman across the, the way, you run over and kiss her on the mouth. Uh, yeah, you no. don't do it that way. <laughs> Social media takes time to, so you people know that a lot of other right. people, they're into the transaction. I'm placing my ad. People will walk through the door. It doesn't work that way in no. social media. So I think uh, I commend you. <laughs> well, thank you. And you're right. Most people forget that social media is at its roots social, Yes. which means you're building relationships. You're not just, and this is the biggest mistake that businesses make. They just throw things out there. Yep. So they're posting, they're posting, they're posting, but there's nothing coming back. They're not engaging in any other way. I'm guilty. And then they wonder why, well, this stuff doesn't work. Well, actually, it does work. It takes time, and you have to do it the right way. Yeah, another analogy I use is a gardening analogy of plant the seed, nurture the plant, harvest the fruit. It's easy to plant exactly. the seed, but it takes a long time for the plant to come out of the ground that and sprout. Exactly right. and and mm -hmm. eventually the fruit will just fall off the vine. But the relationship, it takes a long time. And there's so many people that says, here's my link, buy my stuff. Who the hell are you? <laughs> yeah, no, you're absolutely, you're, that, that's a perfect analogy because yeah, you are time. planting those seeds. And the other thing is you're also coordinating that. You talked about collaborating. You're collaborating that with all the rest of your marketing. Mm -hmm. So it's not, and businesses forget how important email marketing is. And we do that for our clients as well. So you have your email marketing, you have your social media marketing, you have maybe your face-to-face -face networking. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about community involvement for businesses, your website, of course. It all has to be collaborated. It all has to sync in with what you're doing on a theme. And uh, most businesses, we find they're still throwing things up in the air and seeing what, what will work. But when we actually yeah. work with them with a the strategy... It works. Well, that is what, ta what it takes. It takes a through line and a congruency to all this stuff mm -hmm. so that when they see you on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, exactly. email, ah, TV, radio. But uh, exactly. times have changed. <clears throat> so very I'm cool. I'm glad you mentioned LinkedIn because I will say that uh, about 80% of the professionals I sit down with, their profiles really are not serving them. In many cases, they're hurting them. And people are really not paying attention to LinkedIn and they don't realize how very, very important that is because that is your personal footprint online. That's your resume online. Mm -hmm. And it, I cannot tell you enough how many times people are going to go there to check you out or Google you and that's what's going to come up. And if you don't look presentable, if you're not making that wow impression, they're going to move on. There's too many other people. Well, that's a big, big factor. There are other choices these days. That's right. It's very easy for someone just to go the other way. So and it's all easy. about uh, that's right. relationship. And they're easy to find. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. tell us how we can get a hold of you if someone... Now, you, I'm assuming you do this kind of stuff for anybody pretty much anywhere. Yes. So how do they get a hold of you via online, like a website domain and stuff? And of course, I'll put that in this uh, video and put it up to YouTube and propagate it out to the world and all that kind of stuff. Sure. Well, our website is pimedia.me, P-I-M-E-D-I-A dot me. Uh, my radio show's website is debbieharrisshow.com, D-E-B-B-I-E, harrisshow.com. I also have a radio show. Cool. And my phone number, and I, I'm happy to give people out my cell number, it's 702-465-4082.
And email is simply Debbie at PIMedia.me. Happy Perfect. to talk to anyone about, about this stuff. So I'm kind of curious, what's so the PI stand for? Performance Intermedia. Okay. I thought maybe it was private That's investigator. The <laughs> no, the company is Performance Intermedia. We've been around for just about eight years. And uh, PIMedia.me is the website. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to ask my favorite question. That's the big why question. Why is it you're doing this as opposed to why aren't you like a interior decorator or a real estate agent or why aren't you like teaching people how to surf in Maui or something? Why are you doing what you're doing? Well, considering the fact that I am really not good at any of those other things you mentioned, <laughs> um, I've always been involved in marketing, sales, and training. And back in, in New York, back in Connecticut, I've been a financial planner. I've been in the insurance industry. I've been a CLU, a Series 7. I've been involved in that financial world. So, And the part that I loved the most was training other brokers on how to work with insurance products, um, study for the life and health exam. When I was a financial planner for nine branches of a bank, I was training all the customer service people on how to refer. So I love to train. I love to work with people. I love to teach. And I became a marketing director for a company out here. And then I became a, for a real estate company. It's funny you mentioned real estate. And then I became a social media director for a company out here. And this is when social media was really just starting to take on that business uh, acumen. And real estate people were one of the very, very first yep. to recognize the significance of this. And from there... Um, I started doing consulting. And actually, three years ago, I went back for a master's degree. I have a master's degree in social media compliance and the law, which I don't believe anyone else has. Well, that's so pretty cool. that, <clears throat> that degree allowed me to really focus in on best practices. As you mentioned earlier, best practices, you know, if you're a financial planner, if you're an insurance person, if you're in journalism, if you're a doctor or a dentist and you're dealing with HIPAA, what are all these things that you have to deal with and yet still use social media effectively or you're going to be out of business? I mean, right. I, I try and explain to people, if you're not doing this and doing it the right way, chances are in three years, you're not, simply not going to be found. That's just the way it is. It's true. I mean, I call it uh, internet real estate. You capture it's, your share of it. So I've got a lot of stuff I, out there. I absolutely love it. I also... For me, I see social media in a, in a much broader picture than just the business side of it. I really think that we are, um, for the first time ever, the average person is writing history. True. So unless you go back to the caves and the, the walls uh, where we have design and we have pictures, this is really the first time that history is being written by the people who are living it, not the people in power. Because everything mm -hmm. we put and everything we document is there. Everything on the internet stays on the internet. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happens so, in the internet stays on the internet. Exactly. That's right. And you got to remember that when you press send. <laughs> so well, fun. Debbie, I appreciate you taking the time today to be on Synergy Cafe. And I want to uh, beam this thing up. I've got a little bit of time before my next interview. I've got one more. Okay. And I'm going to shoot this thing up the internet and propagate it out. If you see it online somewhere, if you would also uh, take it and, and where's my little card, if you will, share it, like it, oh, comment, I share it, tell the world. I will absolutely share it. Thank wonderful. you very much. And thank you for having me this morning. And please have a wonderful holiday and stay warm out there in Minneapolis. Okay. Thanks, Debbie. Peace. Thank you. Bye-bye.